Kyle, probably yeah. most people haven't seen PKN. I story. I, I'm, they must be curious. They've been watching you for two yeah. hours now, or two and a half. Yeah, it's a it's a little like black, I guess. On this a little side. still, yeah. Looking at uh, a couple days ago already. Yeah, it was um, Tuesday, and today's Thursday. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I had to get this. I had a mole like right on the edge of my eyelid. It was really small. I, I told them it looked like there was a booger on my eyelid, and it was just unsightly. I didn't like how it looked, and I've been wanting to get it off for a while, but I procrastinate things like that. There's a lot of steps you got to, you know, you got to get. A, mm -hmm. I had to go to. I had to get one doctor, which is kind of a problem, and then he has to refer me to a specialist. But anyway, I went, and uh, it was a very painful ordeal. Uh, they gave me a uh, Valium, which I don't even know what the fucking point of that was to relax me, I guess. Like, I wasn't nervous. Wait, did you like not... it? I mean, I loved it, but it didn't kick in until right about the time I got back home. Like, like I was high all afternoon. Oh, no. Yeah. I've had a bunch of surgeries, and they give you that. What do they give you? Fentanyl? Is that what they give you? Or what... uh, no, I don't think so. But but this is a pill. You know, this is just a, a benzodiazepine. I get this something is a... in the IV, and I really yeah. am a fan. No, I um I want to do this as cheaply as possible. And they asked if I wanted an anesthesiologist on board. And I'm like, well, what's he going to do? Is he going to give me gas or or, or like intravenous uh, medications? Like, no, no, no. He'll just watch us do what we were already going to do. And I was like, well, fuck that. Let's save two thousand dollars here because like the whole thing like was a grand. I think it was like four hundred for the doc and six hundred for like what the ancillaries. But anyway, it was more painful than I ever thought it was going to be because they just they put some numbing drops in my eyeball, but that was just so that they could put a Q-tip under my eyelid and roll my eyelid back and it wouldn't be so uncomfortable. Uh, and then they put two shots of lidocaine directly into my fucking eyelid. And that hurt me. too, right? Burned, right? That's what hurt. That hurt. A lot. Your anesthesiologists suck, man. Mine comes I in I didn't have an anesthesiologist. He's like, hey, Woody, I'm Dr. Steve. I'll be your bartender for the day. And I'm like, Steve, <laughs> you seem cool. <laughs> you and I are going to get along. I didn't have an anesthesiologist. I just had the doctor. And he shot two shots oh, of lidocaine into my eyelid. I eyelid. misunderstood the story. There was a guy there who was going to do what they... No, no. They offered an anesthesiologist. And oh. I said, well, what's he going to do? Is I he going to do? Is he gonna give That's me some drugs? They're okay. like, no, no, no. He's going to watch us and monitor your blood pressure. And I'm like, fuck that. That's like two grand wasted money. Like, no, I don't want an anesthesiologist. So the doctor shot two shots of lidocaine just into my fucking eyelid. And it hurt so much. I, like, like, I didn't scream or anything, but my, my toes curled in my, in my shoes. And, like, my hands were crossed on my chest or whatever. And they were just kind of, like, gripping each other. And after each shot, I just went, hmm. That really hurt, you know. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, I bet it did." <laughs> and uh, but but he he had the thing cut off there in sixty seconds, and then I had this huge eye patch on with like masking tape and gauze that I wore about for about half the day, and then I wore uh, sunglasses on the show the other day because my eye was just so fucked up. But uh, but yeah, I'm, it's it's already healing. I'm on antibiotics and some antibiotic ointment, so by next week I don't it'll all be healed up and I'm, yeah. I'm glad I did it because it was annoying. I didn't like looking at it. I've had maybe a dozen surgeries and at this point I'm good at it. You know, and Woody, how you doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm scared. I have to do this, but I wish <laughs> I wasn't here. Uh, I, I, I'm a thrower upper. They call me the upchucker back in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't know. Everything kind of hurts a little. Maybe you can help me with something. <laughs> <You know? laughs> They're like, oh yeah, we got a cocktail for you. We can solve all that shit. It's. Gorgeous. I would have loved some hard drugs. I would have loved some fucking uh, some morphine or some Tylenol three or some codeine or anything to really fuck me up. But anything it was but such one a, Valium. Yeah, the Valium was so worthless. It was so worthless because I got there maybe five ten minutes late, and I I think maybe if I'd had, I don't know, it really didn't kick in until like I was getting home. Mm -hmm. Like, like I said, I, I that that picture I sent you where my like if you look at my my good eye, it's all droopy. And I sent it to my dad too, and he's just like, "You look kind of fucked up." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "I, I kind of am." That volume was good. That was a big one. I forgot you were having that thing taken off your eye because all you texted us that morning was just a picture like from your vantage point laying in a hospital bed in the room. And I was like, oh no, oh my God, I hope Kyle's okay. And then he's like, yeah, yeah getting this thing off my eye. I was like, oh yeah, fuck, he's not dying. Yeah, I like to do that to people. 
Yeah. <laughs> just send a, a troubling photo with yeah. no commentary. Send the photo and then just give it half an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad it worked out. I just think last time, not last year, two surgeries ago, I did that whole thing. You know, they, they made me feel happy. I'm telling the nurse, it's like, man, you guys got an iPhone charger around here? I'd love it if I came out of surgery with a fully charged phone. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they're happy to help. Like, they, all, just be grateful. Be th- you know, they, 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 these people are in, not everyone's nice at the hospital. And if mm-hmm. you are, they're happy to charge your phone. Someone's got an iPhone charger in, in the hospital. And I, I was away from home, so it was a big deal. It was like, man. This thing's my lifeline to my wife. I've been talking to her. She's nervous. If I came out of this surgery and the phone was all charged up, that'd mean a lot to me. <clears throat> they got me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really happy I finally got that done. It was, like I said, it was really annoying me. Um, uh, I hated it. I hated that thing. Every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, ah, oh, there's a booger on your eyelid. You got to get yeah. that off. And it's right in your eye. You can't <clears throat> see anything but it. Um, I couldn't see it like out of my eye. I could just see it in oh. the mirror. If, for what I, we told you this before, I never saw it. And I see you five hours a week. Yeah, you got to be really close to to see it. Like yeah. it's it's. I mean, it was it was it was literally. I don't even know what else to describe it as as like the size of a booger. Like I don't have a, an object on my desk that's as small as this thing was. But it was ugly, and it needed to go. And it was like a low grade cancer scare, maybe, or just was cosmetic. No, oh, okay. no, because there were eyelashes growing through it, which oh, the right doctor said that. was a good sign as mm-hmm. far as that goes. I had that one removed from my side a few weeks ago that I that I showed you that was like four stitches. And uh, that one was a, sca- a a cancer scare for sure. When uh, I but first came... sent back that it was nothing, right? Negative, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. When I first met Jackie, she had a big mole, like right, I'm covering with Mike, like right here ish, like under her neck on like the top of her, mm. just under her throat, and it was a little unsightly. I felt like it dropped her a point, and it was like, all right, you know, we can <laughs> we can be a thing, but get that fixed right <laughs> you know and her you ever feel tempted when you're like making out or whatever just to, <laughs> ah just bite that thing off uh, i think i, I got to say Woody, that's one of the most alpha things you've ever seen <laughs> we're working her... out okay but yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're going to yeah. we're going to give that the the old uh, the, yeah. the sniff, the sniff <laughs> right we're going to take care of that her parents i think were a little bit like what he doesn't love you the way you are and she, no he was She's concerned like, about cancer he pulled yeah. out his leather man. <laughs> it was like, I'm yeah, it was melanoma is sawing it off. <laughs> it was fifteen percent <laughs> cancer risk. That much is true. <laughs> the other eighty-five percent was cosmetic. Yeah, yeah, that's got to go. Yeah, I don't like those unsightly moles. Um, I, I when I whenever I see like, it seems like black people get them a lot on their face. Like 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 they'll have like a bunch of them. Morgan Freeman, and I'm just Morgan like. Fish. No, those are freckles. But I've yeah. seen black people with like lots of little ones all over their face and stuff. And I'm just like, ah, come on, chief. Oh, like skin tag looking things almost? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, I, Anything like that, I get cut off. You know? What causes those skin tags? Homosexuality. Old people. Oh, really? Yeah. My preacher told me that. He was riddled with them, so it was weird. <laughs> One time when I was younger, and now this is what God's done yeah. to me. One Just cock, like, and look at me now. So, yeah, those things are very unsightly. And they seem like they're so easy just to get taken care of. Yeah. I, I mean, I, both of these little things I've had removed in the last month or so, I've been shocked at how good the doctors were at their jobs. Um, my, the, the, this last guy was a, um, a, a plastic surgeon that deals with the eyes specifically. And um, the, the one before that, um, it's like 60 years old, but he's like a, what was it? He was, I, I don't remember the exact like phrase phraseology of it but he's like he was like a dermatological cancer doctor it, it, it was something oh plastic like plastic surgeon was in his background but it was specifically with some sorts i don't know but he was more than equipped to cut a fucking mole off of my uh my side and uh it was pretty, it was, i'm so glad to get that one going because every now and then like go you know, to scratch my side and i'd nip it with like my fingernail be like ah that thing's there fuck but that's going too now. So I'm kind of cool. Professionals are. I, when I worked at the accounting firm. The oral surgeon removes someone's wisdom teeth, and uh, mm. they were like, "This is like a 1040 to him." It is. Now you have to know how good these guys are at 1040s. 1040s an individual tax return for Americans. You know, but audience might not. And uh, everyone I worked with could name. And there's like I don't know 87 lines on the first two pages. They could tell you what they all were. Every single one of them and all the subsets. They know so much about taxes. Uh, 
it's like, yeah, that level of expertise exists when someone does it 40 hours a week Mm -hmm. for year after year. Their whole life, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, I'm glad I got that thing taken care of though. Uh, let me do.